Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock your Moto E5 bootloader. Um, yeah, your Motorola E5 Plus bootloader. Um, this also will apply to any other Motorola phone that has a lock bootloader. Um, you will need the unlock bootloader page for Motorola and uh, it'll tell you basically if your device can be unlocked. This does not unlock the SIM. This unlocks the bootloader so you can install custom ROMs. So with that, um, we'll get started. These links, the link to this page will be in the description as well as any um, anything you see here that I'm about to do. So right here, you're going to have to download uh, the Moto E5 driver. Uh, mine is a 64-bit computer. So you're going to want to install that. And uh, I already have it installed, so that's why it's telling me to repair it. So install that first. After you have that installed, you're going to download uh, Android SDK platform tools. And then pick your operating system. I'm on Windows. Once it downloads here. You're going to want to extract it. Have it open. Now on your phone, you're going to want to... I'll bring up the phone here. Hold on. Alright, so on your phone, what you're going to want to do is go to your settings and go down to system about phone and you're going to want to tap on the build number just keep tapping it and then it'll tell you your developer Then you're going to press back once and go here to developer options and scroll down and you want to tick off allow OEM unlocking and you want to allow the debugging once you have those both set up we can go to the next step so now what it says to do is I'm going to power off my phone so hold the power button and click power off so now it says to press power and volume down button. So you're going to hold them both together. This camera is a little crappy, but I'm hoping you can see. So this is the screen that you want to see. It'll look like that. Now, as soon as that happens, you want to plug in your USB. All right, so you may need to do this. So let's let's do this. We'll grab this whole folder and we'll put it in drive C. Well, now we'll do the same thing. Shift right click and then now it's more of a direct, see it just says C, there's not a crazy amount of uh, things after it. Let's try that. Dot forward slash fast boot devices. Yes, so there you go. You have to type it out just like that. 
dot slash fast boot devices and then you'll see it says fast boot so the next thing we're going to type is fast boot oem get unlock data so it's the same thing you're going to want to put dot slash fast boot and hit enter so now you have all of these um, codes here what you're going to want to do is highlight it and press control copy or control C now what you're going to want to do is open up WordPad and paste it all right so we're going to remove all of the spaces so basically what you're going to do is get rid of where it says bootloader on all of them And then to get rid of the spaces, go to the end of each one and hit delete. 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 Now copy all of it. Now we're going to jump over to the um, Motorola boot locking, unlocking website. So this is the other website. Now we have our code. So um, <clears throat> it gives you a little warning. Blah blah blah. blah. You will have to sign up. Uh, I already did that. Oh, that's what I did. I used my Google account. So actually, I don't have a password. So, yeah, there you go. Um, and it'll tell you how to do it or whatever. This is where you're going to paste the code. And you're going to click this. So agree to the terms, request the unlock key, press OK. And now you'll receive an email. So you'll receive an email with your unlock key uh, to unlock your device. We'll, we'll get into that as soon as I get the email. And that was actually really quick. Um, here's the unlock code. So, and these are unique to each phone. So every code will be different. Um, so, and then it actually, if you lose your page, you can just click here and it'll bring it back to the page. Uh, so it says to turn it off. Start it in fast boot mode, which you should still be in fast boot mode. All right, yeah. So after you have your code, you should still be in fast boot mode. So all you have to do now is X this out and go back into it while you're still in fast boot mode. Uh, press Control, right click, open PowerShell again. So you're going to do the same thing, dot, forward slash, fast boot, devices, my neighbor is chopping up trees, it's so annoying. So now it says fast boot, so now to get it to uh, unlock, what you're going to do is type in fast boot OEM unlock. 
So same thing. Put the dot slash fast boot O E M. All right, and uh, what I'll do is I'll pull up the camera as well. And all I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit enter, and we're going to see what happens. Um, all right, make sure. There we go. So I'll hit enter now. So, and you have to rerun the command. Can I copy it? Let's see. Let's see if I can copy paste it. So we'll press Control C and there we go. And hit enter. All right, and here it says bootloader is unlocked rebooting foam and um, right there it says flashing unlocked um, so now I'm just gonna hit the power button right here it says start we'll see what it does um, here it says it's finished um, right here it says bad key so I'm not sure oh, okay it takes a minute it's uh, rebooting itself here So uh, you, at this point, you can close this. Um, and then as soon as this fully boots up here, yeah, it does wipe your phone. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, yeah, it, it wipes your phone clean. So, according to this, if I unplug this, according to the website anyway, so if we hit restart. It should tell me that the, or give me a warning that the bootloader is unlocked. It says bad key again. Alright guys, so I found a solution. Um, I'll be leaving this in the link too. And I'll be doing a, uh, just a separate video on how to fix it. So, basically you're going to download one of these. Uh, they look like this. And uh, what you're going to do after you get it is extract it. And you'll get a logo bin file. So we're going to copy the logo bin file. And then we're going to put it in our platform tools. So there it is right there with fast boot mode. And have your phone in fast boot mode. And same thing. Um, you're going to want to hold shift and right click open PowerShell and according to this website um, what we're going to do dot slash fast boot 
to devices. And then after you get that, you're going to type in dot slash fast boot flash logo and hit enter. And um, supposedly, so now all we're going to do is do fast boot reboot. So, same thing, you're going to do dot slash fast boot reboot. Oh. I grabbed a blank spot here. I could just type it, but whatever. So, dot slash fast boot reboot. And this is what it looks like. When it restarts. Not bad. And then it goes to the original Moto screen. So that gets rid of the bad key when it first starts up. But yeah, so that fixes the bad key error. And uh, that's it. Now your phone is unlocked. <clears throat> and uh, ready to be flashed with a new ROM. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, I'm sorry it took a little while to do. Please leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, the next video I'll be doing is putting a custom ROM on here.